Hi everyone, this is Madhavi. I am working as a teacher in Rajamahendravaran Rural Mandal, East Godavari District. I made this video for just giving a brief review on today's content in webinar sessions in CLEP2 by APSCRT. Today's session was taken by Suman Bandisar, faculty in Regional Institute of English, Bangalore. Today's topic is about a teaching method, Total Physical Response in Learning, that is TPR. We will learn today about these topics. TPR and its origin, related learning theories, objectives, syllabus, activities in TPR, learner role and teacher role and limitations of this method. Here is a question for us. Is there any absolute method in language teaching? We cannot say strictly about one method. It varies from lesson to lesson and based on the activities and context, the method of teaching depends. Here is a suggested method for teachers called TPR. Total Physical Response TPR is a long-wave teaching method and is based on the theory that the memory is enhanced through the association with physical movement. This method is developed by James Asher, an American professor of psychology in the 1960s, which is based on the theories of mother tongue language acquisition in very young children. We know that in mother tongue acquisition, Children listen and respond physically to elders' commands. For example, come here, give it to me. Like in a simple commands. Objectives. The general objective of TPR is to teach the oral proficiency at the beginning level. Anaga, e TPR method lo, oral commands ni related actions to anasandhani chi chapadan jarutundi. And in this method, comprehension is a means to an end and the ultimate aim is to teach basic speaking skills. That means, Ekuga matlaad dhani ki pradhanit nishto, Kramepi varu ardhani kuda punascharana dvara grahinche vidanga bodhinchitam. And for this method, specific instructional objectives are not elaborated. Next topic is the syllabus. Sentence based syllabus with grammatical and lexical items being primary in selecting teaching items. Lexical item means which is a part of word or chain of words or a root word. For example, cat or traffic light, take care of, by the way, like without considering any prefix or suffix. Next, grammar is taught inductively. That means based on their experiences and observations, they came to know about the grammar in simple sentences. And the last one, criteria for selection of language elements is not based on frequency or use, but on the situations in which they can be used in the classroom. That means, e TPR method lo oral commands no, frequent ka vade vi leda upyogun lo unna ve kaka, mana classroom situation kanugunanga unna ve tisko ali. The next topic is types of activities. They are imperative drills, role plays, slide presentations. Imperative sentences means they are used to issue a command or instruction or make a request or an offer or an advice. For example, bring me a glass of water or take a step and don't move. Give me a pen and pencil or don't touch the boat like that. These kind of oral commands can be done repeatedly by the students. We call the activity as imperative drills. Next activity is role plays. And the third activity is slide presentations. Slide presentations usually used for physical responses. We can show the pictures or details or any actions while teaching the context, either lesson or story or rhyme. Next, learner roles in this method. In this method, learners are listeners and performers. They listen attentively and respond physically to our commands. And also they can respond both individually and collectively. And mainly they expected to respond to novel utterances. Novel utterances means the user can say anything just wants to communicate. Either if absolutely it is right or wrong, whatever. Here is a model class teaching for TPR method. Let us watch. The children listen and do the movements accordingly. The sentences are repeated several times. In the beginning, it's important to maintain the order and to understand the meaning of the sentences. 
with the help of mimes, gestures and drawings on the board. Doing the movements themselves is an important memory aid. Show the palm to your mom. Your mom says... <laughs> Soon, the children can make the movements on their own and in a different order. Say hello to your mom. Your mom says... Eek! Say hello to your mom. Hello. Your mom shows you some plums. Your mom says eek. Teacher role in this method. He has active and direct role. He has to decide on the content. He needs to analyze lessons to identify suitable situations or contexts. And classroom interaction and turn taking is as per the teacher directions. Even learner to learner interactions are also initiated by the teacher. Let us watch this video for better understanding this TPR method. Plain. Plain. Car. Car. Plain. Car. Teddy. Teddy. Okay. Plane. Car. Teddy. Plane. Car. Teddy. Doll. Doll. Plane. Car. Teddy. Doll. Now that the students have learned the key words that they are going to need, let's see how Herbert gets them to understand sentences by listening to instructions and imitating his actions. Now, stand up please, stand up please. Okay, good. Fly your plane. Fly your plane. Drive your car. Okay. Hug your teddy. Hug your teddy. Kiss your doll. Okay. Once more. Fly your plane. Drive your car. Vroom. Hug your teddy. Kiss your doll. So that was the first phase of an action story. What's important here is that the teacher adapts his or her teaching pace to the student's pace of learning. In other words, the teacher introduces the sentences gradually after the other and always repeats the previous sentence or sentences before introducing a new one. What's also important is to strictly keep to the order the sentences were presented in. Next, we'll see the second phase, where Herbert gives the ins and it's important, remember, that this is done in the same order as before. But this time, he doesn't give the students a model for the actions. So the children have to listen and carry out the instructions without seeing the teacher act them out. Being in a group gives them security learning from one another. Now I'm going to sit down. No, you, you don't sit down, you stand up. You stand up, please. Yes, okay. Now you do it. You do it. Plane. Drive your car. Your teddy. Kiss your doll. Yes, good. So, what's next? Well, once the students are able to carry out the actions easily, it's now time for the third phase. As before, the students listen to the instructions and carry them out, but with one difference. This time, Herbert changes the order of the instructions. And now, no, 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 stand up. And now in jumbled order, in jumbled order, jumbled order, jumbled order. Okay. 
uh, drive your car, kiss your doll, fly your plane, hug your teddy, kiss your doll, fly your plane, drive your car, hug your daddy, kiss your doll, hug your teddy, hug your teddy, yes, very good, thank you. Here are some important instructions for the teachers while giving feedback. We should follow example of parents giving feedback. Initially, parents correct very little. So, teacher's correction also should be minimal. We need to remember that too much correction can leads to inhibit learning. And finally, gradually teacher intervention can be increased with time. We should remember that every method has their own limitations just like that. This TPR method also have some limitations. They are, it cannot sustain for more than few minutes. And it can be become repetitious if continued for long. And also in this method, long wave input is majorly restricted. And it is not easily acceptable beyond beginner level. And the today's session was ended by the Q&A. Thank you for watching this video. I am keeping my series of videos in my YouTube channel Madhvi Vlogs. If you like the videos, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.